the start of that um, section is just me wriggling about, and you can just hear like. Yeah, you can hear on mine as well. You can hear me like adjusting in my chair. I'm just like I'm play. getting nice and comfy because I'm just watching. Yeah. And then the PlayStation in the background just like absolutely losing its shit. Oh, so my PlayStation. Then going Super Saiyan three. I recorded a uh, Ghost Tsushima with Jenna and. Man, all you can hear on the game audio before I did like my noise reduction and stuff was like the PS4 in the background. Like, that better be something they fix next year. Like, I'll if it's so that happy. big and it's still loud, I'll be well pissed off. But anyway, yes, welcome to. Oh my god, I collected some eight years gold with my axe then. <laughs> and wait, let's let's try that out. If I hit that barrel, will I get the item that I it think has? you do? I think you do, yeah. So a little bit further. Like Kratos going fishing, man. This is how Kratos fishes. That, that would this, not shock me. This is how a Spartan fishes in this. <laughs> Ooh, so let's oh, try and bring it back. Oh, it went the other way around. So let's get yeah. a bit closer. I want to get this barrel. Fuck you, barrel. I'm going to get it. I can get it. See, this would be a use for that um, thing of marking targets. Yeah. If you could mark stuff like that, like in the environment. You could mark environmental objects. Let's go. You can get it. Ah, fuck it, that didn't work. Anyway, so oh, no. welcome to uh, a new recording session for us. Like we, we're Episode on, like, you know, somewhere between like eight and three hundred. Somewhere like, I don't know how far <laughs> ahead we are right now. Uh, we just like beat everyone on the loser island for people who get wrecked, and we cannot solve this puzzle. <laughs> so fuck it, let's continue with this story. I think we probably um, can solve that puzzle. Fuck it. I don't care. Like, like, we clearly, failed last time. We are losers. We need to run away. We do. Ooh, thanks, Treyas. The, the big circle prompt kind of gave that away, but I appreciate you being here too, so. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you want to double chat? I'm pretty sure we did the two, um, uh, like, side quests that we have at the moment, don't we? Um, but there's this Ooh, one no. where the, the guy stabbed his dad in the back. And we also have as well to get the uh, the pommel. We need to destroy the statue of Thor. Ah, yes. Of Which I did want to make a beeline yeah, towards. It gives us that super cool uh, pommel I was talking about. Yeah, and I think I made the mistake of... I forgot about that side quest and left it really late. Which by the time I went to go get the pommel, it was really shit. Because you already had the ones from like Nipple Island. Yeah, I already had like end game ones. And was just doing my clean up for the uh, trophies and stuff. And then I realised I did everything in the game. And, um, well, it was more that I then didn't know what ravens I'd killed and gave up. <laughs> I, I was like, so you I'm not no doing the thing of going through a guy and going to every single raven location, not sure whether the ravens are there or not. I'm like, no, fuck it. Oh, I accidentally clicked the wrong one. This is the one for the whetstone. Oh, it is. I want to destroy the statue. Do you know what? Let's get the whetstone as well. Fuck it. More side quests. The side quests in this game are awesome. I don't get fucked. Like, that's, that's the thing is the the proper side quests are not just like the um, the little favors. Um, yeah, they are like really like quests. They have story content. They have like unique items that you get for them. You get like moments of bonding between Atreus and Kratos. Having used his enchantments, you get like full combat challenges as well. And you get to fight like, the Soul Eater and stuff as well. It's great. Smiling, the jealous eagle. Odin took her by And I know we're talking over Mamiya, but Mamiya never shuts the fuck up. And yeah. Life. And this is like um, my second so playthrough of the game. Backstory about Dad. Faye again? Um, yeah. No, not Faye. Um, the witch. Uh, yes, and then how she came, like, came to be married to Odin. Do well to yeah, and um, it's just like a, oh look, they fucked her over. Um, Odin covered it all up, took all her knowledge, and banished her, basically. And so, mm -hmm. so, and then Atreus <laughs> is like, oh, I knew Odin was a bad guy, but holy shit. It's like, yeah, yeah. It, it also as well, um, like, Atreus, in part, is like a player avatar where... He does not know about this world, but like Kratos doesn't either. But Kratos doesn't. Well, give a it's shit. a reason for the player to get exposition that makes sense. Because Atreus is a child, and a child will be naturally curious about these things. Mm -hmm. So he asks these questions that us, the player, may also have, and then they get answered by the smartest man in the universe. So it all like contextualizes the info dump very well, which I like. And, then and I think it's one of the strongest ways I've seen it done in the game. Because yeah, you have Atreus. He's a child. A child will be curious. Hey, and Mamiya just, he wants someone to talk to because he's been stuck in a tree, being tortured. And he, he just sounds like the kind of guy that naturally would be very chatty and talk to people and tell people less information in these stories. Of course he would. Like, it makes sense for Mamiya's character to be doing that. Disgusting. 
smelly, covered in god. Oh, so this is one of the travelers that I killed when we were freeing the dragon. Gorgeous armor. Oh yeah. Let's see if I which can way you get the travelers armor. Which I don't mind the travelers armor. It has really good effects yeah. on it. It just it doesn't look great. It looks cool if you get the full set though. So let's see uh, if we wait, can like no. explore yes. what the full yes. set would look like. Yes, we can. So you can get the breastplate of the traveler where it doesn't look great here. But when you get the full set, it looks kind of badass. It reminds me a lot of um, a similar design to like, like Elder Scrolls Skyrim, like Elven armor kind of look. Mm. But when um, you wear the full set, it makes Kratos look like an absolute fucking unit. Because it, like, imagine Kratos fully armored. That's terrifying. Also, its effect is really good, where it slowly regenerates a passive barrier. That is incredibly useful for fighting the Valkyries. Because oh, it will okay. block any singular attack, including those like one-hit kill ones they are so fond of throwing out. Yeah. So when you have that barrier activated, it can save you from like those kill hits. Right. It will absorb so I never got the traveler's armor. Well, that does sound interesting. That That's what useful. I wore. It's what I used it for. I used it to fight the Valkyries because it lets you avoid those one-hit kill attacks from above. Right. The yeah. Jumping attack, the uh, Valhalla. Yeah. The one that everyone loves, where they stomp on your neck with the heels, it protects you from that. Because I think I, I, um, I just went to Niflheim and grinded out that armor. Because that armor is the best armor in the game. Like, statistically and just for its effects, it's just a passive health uh, regen, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But Traveler's Armor is good, like, mid to end game armor with that effect in, in tow. Yeah, that does sound like a really useful effect. So my uh, again, we'll um, bring up, like, yeah, okay, we do say that we prefer to go for things that provide, like, offensive buffs, not defensive buffs. But well, that is quite useful. But that is very useful for just quests. avoiding like one hit kills and shit. Yeah, because it is like a just what um, damage reduction from any attack, including ones that would kill you or will break your guard. Yeah. But at the same time, it can be broken by stuff like uh, multiple hits, like flames, and the beams from the ancients. Right. So okay. it can be broken by stuff which is kind of annoying. But let's have a look. Oh, we were going to upgrade our, our boy, weren't we? Oh, talent bow upgrade immediately. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care how much Do it in. costs. New skills are now available for our son immediately. And it's like, weird to me that um, there's no real skills for Atreus. It is more just like, look, he shoots quicker. Stronger. But at the same time, it's fucking useful. It's, it's really tell. useful, um, but it's weird that it's like, oh, Atreus gains new skills, and it's like, he doesn't really gain new skills as much as it's just like, he increases his like stats slightly. Yeah, the things that he learns, like that thing there where he jumps off the enemy, that's something he learns, like, story progression-wise. Yeah. Where, like, you get that little prompt that says, Atreus is now more confident in combat. He will perform new moves. Mm -hmm. And I was a little bit disappointed that that's the only time that really happens. Yeah. Like, he doesn't ever gain another level up throughout the story. The there isn't, like, a constant progression of that's him learning crazy. new moves right? and becoming more confident in battle throughout. And I, I thought it would have been quite a neat thing to it. have if... Like, oh, he learns on. the choke first, for is example, and then it's like later in the game. I mean, oh, Atreus has now learned to trip the opponent. Time. Tripping mm -hmm. opponents is super useful. Mm -hmm. And it'd been cool Sometimes, to be able to tell him yeah. to do that, maybe. Yeah. Of like, oh, Atreus, trip that guy up so I can go for like, the no. executioner's cleave, or choke him <coughs> to keep that. that one enemy at bay. I mean, I think like the amount of control you've got over Atreus just shooting arrows is good enough. It is, and like it would add like a little bit too much depth for what this game's supposed to be, which is like you know a brawler. Essentially, mm -hmm. that anyone can play. Yeah, so that would add a layer of depth. That was like it's closing in on like Devil May Cry. Maybe yeah, that would you, you can start do. to become way more of like a character action style game. And as we've talked about, you can basically go through this entire game just using runic attacks. Like runic attacks will carry you in every combat encounter. Nope. <laughs> and that attack, that attack will carry you yeah. to the end game. Like, I like that off. you could have killed him with the arrow. Yeah, you could have shot that. another arrow, but Kratos wanted that clean. Well, it gives me the rage burst. Oh shit, I forgot yes. about that, yeah. Fuck you! So, like, I know that um, you were doing a bit of practice when, for example, playing Transformers yes. and Ninja Gaiden. Were you doing that with this? No. Because uh, I, I didn't remember that you got that burst from uh, Executioner's Leap. It's just before we started recording, I just went through all my equipment. Just to ah, right, check. okay. Because we had a problem with that last time, I couldn't remember what ability I'd given Kratos, yeah. you remember? So I gained the Rage Burst, and we have also the passive book to our parry. So we just get a longer time to parry things, so we can like... <laughs> and they even dodge that! Like, yeah. fuck you! That's bullshit. There we go, dead. Fuck you. Executioner's Cleave. I don't think I've useful. ever cleaved them in half. 
the grey. Right. But I didn't. I don't think I've ever seen that animation on uh, those dickheads. There's a unique animation for almost every enemy in the game for it. Yeah, even much. like the big enemies, you're not supposed to be able to kill with it. You'll still get like a brief cut scene of Kratos just like slamming the axe into the head. <laughs> it's really cool. I wish there was more of them. Again, like we we've mentioned this during like Spider-Man and God of War of the downside of the spectacle of the games is that you see everything, everything. repeated over and over and yeah that is something i would like a and bit more time and effort put into in games yeah we talked about how uh, in my very first big combat encounter in spider-man we saw every finishing move pretty much yeah and as cool as they are you're going to see them all multiple times yes look at that my hack silver baby i love the score on poles and um to be fair i think yeah. here's an improvement on this one compared to like old god of war where you would finish like the same enemy with the quick time event kill and the quick time event like they i get that they became a staple of the genre that god of war basically helped define of yeah. like the brawler like not quite a devil may cry but not quite like a, a dynasty warriors type yeah of thing where, yeah it's like, it's like it's a meld between both where you don't necessarily have to be good at the combat, but there is some depth there if you want it. Yeah, but you can but, just kind of put your Blades of Chaos on and twirl around. Yeah, and we talked about how though, um, uh, our mutual friend, you have the thing of his controller stopped working, so he literally could not finish enemies. <laughs> because, no, you can't. Because you need to finish them with like the button prompts. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons I completely fell off of Shadow of Mordor where you have to kill all the enemies with the thing, you can't just stab them, and if you do it, it takes like five times as long. Mm -hmm. like... <sighs> um, the one part, like, I played a, uh, like, a fair amount of that game, like, maybe put 20 hours into it. Um, I'm, like, not a massive Lord of the Rings fan, so Ooh. I kind of fell off. But I did enjoy getting to the point where you can, like, ping pong between enemies, like, teleporting around insta-killing them. That does feel super cool, but the fact that the only real way you can KO enemies in that game is with your execution. Yeah. And like with Spider-Man, you'll be seeing them like at least three or four times per like big combat encounter. You will. And it's just oh. So I'm missing something here. Something this. around here. Oh. oh, there we go. Am I missing something as I look directly at it? <laughs> the solution's right there. What a sausage I am, eh? Oh man, and this game just looks so oh, it looks amazing. And the thing is, well, I'm playing it on my PC right now, so I'm watching it through my monitor. And I've got a really, really good monitor, because fuck it, Big Wangers is doing all right. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, that was amazing. One hit. One hit. And I will appreciate this game looks very, very pretty. And I'm, not I'm watching it through, like, a slightly pixelated Discord stream. Oh, damn. Man, it still looks really good, and I'm like, I, part of it is also remembering, like, oh, man, think of, in my head of how good it looked on, like, my nice TV. That's the thing. And I don't know how it's supposed to get any better. Um, like I'm looking how, forward like, to seeing like how good it looks, yeah. Like they talk about like 4K and stuff like that. And the thing about 4K is, unless you're sat a meter away from your television, it, you, you can't even see it. Well that's the thing is like, yeah, I have like a fifty inch four K TV, so I'm sure I'll notice like a little bump. But I think I'm more looking forward to the technical aspects of what? like the much faster loading Ooh. times and stuff like that, and the ray tracing. Yeah. Like, I, guess I think the ray tracing might be the next big leap in terms of graphics because it is not the lighting will be so much okay. improved. Yeah. I'm looking forward to like, just the more like, performance increases. But I like this as well. This is why I love doing the side quest. You get these bonding moments between Atreus and Kratos mm -hmm. that you wouldn't get in the main game. But Kratos is asking his son, like, so, so when were you angry with me? Because Atreus just randomly mentions, like, Joe, they're talking about how like, a, a son could kill his father. Oh, yeah. And then Atreus says, I get angry with you sometimes, but I could never think of hurting you. And Atreus like, asks him, like, quite genuinely, like, when are you angry with me? And Atreus says, well, sometimes when you think I can't do something. Mm. And that, that's fair enough, because Kratos does that a lot with Atreus. He does, yeah. And you get, like, a moment But of, then like, Atreus, Atreus overestimates himself a lot at the same time. Yeah, which is, like, he's a child. Yeah. He doesn't know he don't live yet. But, yeah, like, you get that moment where um, he murdered everything. And Kratos Ooh. abandoned him in the, uh, Kratos, in the Golden Line. And Kratos probably didn't think he could do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Luke And as well, you can notice that Atreus is continuing to shoot in the background. Yeah. <laughs> so of course he is. But man, I love the feeling of getting on these enemies and so on. Yeah, I, I think it's it very a... Batman Arkham. But it does the... last a little bit too long for me. It does last a bit long. Um, but I think it does pull it off a bit better in this game. Like, it feels a bit more... Um, 
cinematic. It feels like, not even more cinematic, it feels a bit more gratifying, like, there's a bit more of a crunch to it. There, like we've said, like, the thing about the combat in this game is like, it, it's not the best combat, I'm not even gonna lie, it's like, you can go through every encounter just using your runic attacks. Yeah, like, but there's it's some, There's some depth there, it's just meaty, crunchy, weighty. Yeah. And the word you see thrown around a lot describing the combat of this game. Very weighty, um, uh, good feeling combat. So yes, it is, yeah. Somewhere around there you the go. heart, there we go. Um, but... Carl, we haven't mentioned yet hmm. the official announcement of the next game. That you call? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Uh, do you know what my favourite thing is? I thought, because I was editing the uh, the episode where that came up, so, oh, Lucas called that they're going to call the next one Ragnarok, because we have a brief Ooh. discussion, like, would they call the third one Ragnarok? And you're like, no, because they won't be able to resist calling the second one it, because it's too good a thing to say. Yeah. It's too good a tagline to have, and it's really good. Cause it's like a new game on a new system mm -hmm. that will be like what like, i'm not buying a ps5 until god of war comes out oh fair so it's, got a, it's a system seller for me like one of the comments was like yeah everyone called it because i'm not saying that lucas called it it like, wasn't you know, a unique thought just to me i just thought it was an interesting thing while editing that the audience might like might want to see it was yeah like an interesting thing, like well so did a bunch of other people who called it. it's like man imagine just having just that kind of attitude <laughs> towards life of just you can never ever just appreciate something like yeah like, like it, it was just a moment of like oh isn't it a little bit funny that like one of us called this just before it was announced mm -hmm. um and it wasn't like a oh man i was super on the ball and nobody ever thought that i like lucas was the only person who saw that coming it's like no it was relatively obvious but you know still a nice little moment of the playthrough to point out so no was. lucas um, other people did it. It's like, okay, sure. It's like, yeah, great, okay. No, all I think when I see that is just that great comic of like the Cylon just sticking the sign in that says no fun allowed. <laughs> it's the only thing I ever think of like, yeah. Oh, did you see it? The little, I did. little ratty. I did. Little ratty. Oh, no, can't let. Oh, <laughs> the, the hero dodge rat. Mm. Ooh. Right, I just pull. Turn in, uh, turn vibrate off my phone because it just was like, oh, like, no, no. It's all right. So is my controller. Oh god, that's true. Like, I love haptic feedback. Can you imagine taking that out? Like, <laughs> what kind of a stupid games company would take haptic feedback out and say it's like you know it was a fad? Yeah. As they int like, but because that was PlayStation did that, wasn't it? Where they said that uh, PS3, yeah. They said, oh no, vibrations are fad. It's never gonna work. Um, it's As a thing of the past, apparently. As they put motion controls into their fucking new controller. Yeah. Oh, um, it's a fad and it was a thing of the past. And now, two generations later, they are pushing haptic feedback as their main new feature. As the future. As, as the future, completely... even though, like, the same company, what, 13, 14 years back? No, 14 years ago, they released PS3. So it might have been, like, 14, 15 years ago. They were like, oh, it's a thing of the past, man. Foot no, rumble. So I know that uh, that was the right way there, but the rule with video games is go the wrong go way. The right way. Always go the wrong way, because there's usually cool items there. Yeah. Mm. Oh. oh, God. Uh, Carly was already dead. You know what, Lucas? you got to make sure. In this world, <laughs> I'm making fucking sure. To be fair, yeah. This is a world where the undead constantly attack you because they want to keep fighting. That's pretty metal, though, that. Isn't that it? is metal as fuck. And I love the uh, how diametrically opposed, just the way um, the Spartan pantheon, the Spartan way of life and thinking, just um, just uh, conflicts so hard with the Norse way of thinking. Because you think it'd be quite complementary, and like, oh, they're both they both have warrior pantheons. The Spartans greatly respect warriors, but mm -hmm. there's a key difference between the Spartans and the the Norse. Uh, I guess the Vikings, I should say. Okay. Um, in that, and they mention it later in the game, and it is that. Um, in Viking mythology, it is seen as dishonourable to grow old. And oh, because it would like fate. it would be a sign that you weren't fighting enough, that you didn't yes, die in battle. Spoil because spoilers when you go to hell in this game. So of course, you fucking go there. Um, uh, they t uh, Kratos asks, "Who are the people who get sent here?" And Mimir just casually mentions, oh, you know, the people who died dishonourable deaths, those who died of old age. And Kratos incredulously asks him, it is dishonourable to grow old. Because in Sparta, growing old... Oh, I see it. I can't. Let's go get it. It's free shit. It's right there. <laughs> um, in Sparta, the idea that you could grow to be an old man 
as a Spartan, you're a fucking badass and everyone respects you. <laughs> because you've lived through that many battles, yeah. But not in Viking mm. um, uh, Yeah, that is, a, that is a good point. And I, I side with the Spartans on that idea. It's yeah, easy, it's honourable to go Because if you're Spartans. not pussyfooting around and not going into battle or whatever, like, that's fair enough. But if it's, oh no, he's a genuine, like, Spartan warrior that fought with honour and to 60 years old. managed to live through his fighting life and grow old, yeah. Right, fair enough. He Do must be about that. Ooh, of course. So there is a way they want me to go here. Da, 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 da. Oh, I see it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. What a sausage. Fucking awesome. I love using the axe. <laughs> it's the best. Like, every game needs to give you just the axe. Yeah. Look how cool it looks as well now. It's all great, like, three times. It does look so good by the end of the game. It's ornate as shit. Mm. I wish they could change the skin on it. Which, there's a weird thing they put in this game. Was like skins for the shield. That was like a pre-order bonus, wasn't it? Yeah, you get like um, skins for the shield, but this they never the give sword. you skins for the axe. Um, because I believe the only skins for any of the weaponry was like specific to pre-order bonuses and stuff. And if you do the new game plus. Oh, okay. Yeah, they give you a new shield for that. Um, but it has like the God of War logo on it. I think it was like pre-orders or collect um, collector's edition. That I was like, you the get these, like, shields. You know, the and it's like, okay. But then it wasn't added in the game, and the only way to see that menu was to get that extra, yes. like, yeah, limited time DLC. Which I appreciate, it means it's out of the way, because there's nothing more annoying than when you see something that you can't have, because it was a pre-order yes. bonus. Yeah. Like when you get, like, um, in Batman Arkham, where it's like, oh, here are the costumes that you're not allowed to have. Yep. It's like, fuck you. And like, yeah, obviously, combat. They eventually, you know, graciously let you pay money for them. Oh, so this is where, like, the travellers are also. Oh, got the poison. Oh, son. She's getting right in there. Fuck you. Ooh, dodge. And the travellers. This is why you want to do this. Oh, shit, no. Probably not. Because uh, if you get the executioner's cleave on them, you uh, take their armour off, and it looks super fucking boss. Oh. Here we go. The lightning arrows in. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh no! I, I, I blocked one, but not the other. Yeah. Come on, he kept too early. Oh, there we go. Oh. I think I always fall these on No, man, you got a power. Well, you got a hand, 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 hand sword. Like... You got to fight like a fucking boss, man. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Ooh. <gasps> Mate, an ancient relic of hell deemed too powerful to remain whole. What does it do, Carl? It just gives you a little bit, though. So I've got the talisman of protection, but... What does it do? We don't know. Oh my god, it don't... doesn't even tell you. Okay, let's equip it see what it does. I'm curious. Because L1 and circle back today, right? L1 and circle. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, is that the sex beam? The sex beam. I think you so like think that... push like a fucking time rift through your ass. Yeah, because, um, yes, I know about the thing in this game of um, you can get the Infinity Gauntlet. Have you heard about that? You know about the Infinity Gauntlet in this game? Um, there's a certain set, like, set up of enchantments you can give to Kratos that gives him an Infinity Gauntlet. Wait, what? Because there are... You not heard about this? No. Um, yeah, like one of them is um, Anvari's soul, the soul stone. Oh, okay. One of them is that one, where you have to fully form it, and if you equip them all on Kratos, um, you get various effects, such as um, like a giant beam. And I think it's this one here. I think this is the thing where if you have it on you, it gets powered up depending on if you have them all with you, and that ability I just did just becomes like an eradicator beam. Oh... Yeah, so I know about it, so I never went to because you have to like fully level up everything and that's just a huge ball like. Can I shoot through sure these bars? I was about to say, if you can't shoot through those bars, that's fucking bullshit. Yeah. Of course uh, Kratos can do that. Well, Atreus can. Atreus can, look at the big gap. Come on, boy. Yeah. Son, here's my free shit. You know there's some good shit in this one when he like when he when he takes the little bit of extra effort to lift it up. <laughs> you know there's some good stuff in it with that one. Perfect, yeah, we've got some decent stuff. So, so that one, I, I get it. It's cool. I'm not gonna have it equipped. 
Wait, really? No, it's because I want to have the um, uh, the parry thing. We'll, you know what? We'll try it on the next group of enemies to see what it does. But the passive buff to just like make my parrying better, I just want that. True, true. Because that's just super useful. So I'm always going to be using the parry. You even have it on them, like. Even just the bog standard enemy types. Like the flying enemies can be executed as Cleaver. <laughs> no, let's try it. Oh! You know what? I might keep that. Yeah, that's just, really fucking cool. Just for the shenanigans. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> just like, get out. Lucas. Oh, oh no! It's alright though. Let him get his health. Let him get his health back. Let him do it. Come on, swing. I'll let you swing. Oh, oh he can't even stand up. Oh, I can rock, man. You know what? Yeah, here we go. Fuck you! <laughs> oh. My favourite bit is though, I was swinging and then cancelled the swing with a parry. Yeah. That's how good. He you his boot was high up in the air and he still got the parry off. Did you hear Mamiya then? No. He went that showing them. <laughs> Mamiya is getting hype for this, Lucas. So I might keep that just because it seems to be uh, just knock everything away. And I bet there's a bunch of dumb stuff right. we can do with the ragdoll effect. Yeah, there probably is. Yes, sir. Right, the next time I get to an enemy near the ledge, I'm fucking doing that.